Hi guys, I'm the Illusionist and today I'm going to show you a great and easy card trick called the teleporting card. And then I'll explain it to you. So yeah, let's get started. First, the spectators shuffle the cards as much as they want. Then they pick one. Let's say this one, for example. Take a look at it. That's great. And then I will simply lose it in the deck like this and now i'm going to take the top card which is the six of spades put it there normally i'd ask the spectator to put his hand on it so i don't have any i'll just put the box which is a normal one like this and i'm going to take the second card from the top the two of hearts like this but uh, I'm quite jealous of you, the card you have, so I'm simply going to snap my fingers and now look, under my hand is the six of spades and under the box, nobody touched it, is your card, the queen of clubs. So, how does it work? It's very simple. The only thing you need to know is how to double it. If you don't, you can check out my video, there will be a link in the description box below. So yeah. First, the spectators shuffle the cards, normal shuffle, they pick one, let's say for example, the six of hearts, and now you need to control it to the top. In order to do this, you place it near the bottom, like there, and you push it in by pushing down, and that creates a natural break, and you leave the bottom part, the top part, sorry, and it will fall on the fat of your pinky, allowing you to catch a pinky break right there. There it's really small, but you can make it bigger like this or medium like this, you see. So now you do a few cuts and make sure that the bottom part with the pinky lands on the top so that the six of hearts is now controlled to the top. So then you show that you do your double lift and you show that the top card, which is actually the six of hearts, is the nine of diamonds. You put it there, they put their hand on it, or they can even place it between their hands so they feel it's even more secure. You leave it there and you say, and now I'm going to take the second top card, which is actually the third because you'll do another double lift, the queen of hearts, and you have the nine of diamonds. You told them that it was there, but it's actually there. So you take it there, you put it there, under your hand, and you invent a story. I said I was jealous of the card they had on the other hand, and then you snap your fingers, and it's magic. There's the nine of diamonds there, and so they take off their hand, they flip the card over, and they see that the six of hearts appeared in the hand. So yeah, I hope the explanation helped you. If it did, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye. coins, namely because you use four coins in two hands. A coin goes in each hand just like this and the other coins go on top of the fingers but someone else has to do that part otherwise the magic won't work. So you get someone to help you, one on top, one on top and then a bit of a flick and guess what's happened. We've got three in one hand and one in the other. Now the secret. You do only have four coins and two hands of course. You place one coin in each hand just like that and one coin on top of each hand. Now here's the tricky part as you turn your hands over you need to grab one and let go of the other two. So one hand is empty and the other hand has got two coins in it and then the assistant comes along and does what she has to do. A bit of a flick and that the magic is done. There's three in one hand, one in the other.
is actually going to be a little bit more difficult than most of the tricks that I've been showing you. So anyways, just giving you a fair warning, uh, this is what it's going to look like. So let's say you could go through and you can have the spectator just call out any card they want to face up. So in this case, maybe the Queen of Spades, for example. Uh, you could have them sign the card if you want, okay, just to make sure that this is the only Queen of Spades in the deck. Uh, but basically what you want to do is emphasize that they could have stopped you at any cards. They could have stopped you maybe at the Nine of Clubs, maybe at the Queen of Clubs. Basically any card in the deck they could have stopped you at. Uh, so look what happens. When I snap my fingers, your card doesn't actually jump to the top of the deck. and It's not on the bottom, but look, if I give you this card here and you put it inside of your hand, close it and open it back up, you can see your card has now instantly transported into your hand. So uh, this is a trick guys and if you want to how to do it, don't forget to stick around for the tutorial. Alright guys, so here's how the trick is actually going to work. So uh, basically the main thing that I'm doing here is just culling a card from the middle of the deck. So basically that's when you take a card uh, from the middle and you can move it to the top of the deck uh, within a second. So that was kind of sloppy, I wasn't really trying there. But basically that is kind of the exposed view of what's going on. So I'm going to go into more detail. So what you're doing is you're having the spectator go through and they can pick any card that they want. Let's say the ace of diamonds here. Now basically what you're doing is you're showing them the card and if you want I said, uh, like I said before, you could have them sign the card just to make it look like there's no actual duplicate card. So this would help out in the situation. Um, but at this point what you'd want to do is take the card back, put it and have the deck spread open. Um, this way what you want to do is you want to emphasize to the spectators that they could have picked um, any card in the deck and at that point what you're doing is you're saying look you could have picked the Queen of Hearts and what I just did there is when I said Queen of Hearts I just covered up their card and left it flush with this Queen of Hearts so your card is perfectly behind that Queen and what you're doing is you're moving it behind the Queen like this and saying look you could have picked the Queen of Hearts and as you can see what I'm doing here from the back is I'm pulling your card with my middle in my ring you're pulling it out just so it can unclip from these back cards just like this so it's unclipped and what you're doing is saying look you'd have, you could have picked any one of these cards and you're just fanning it into your left hand just like this and when you close the deck up and I'll leave this on top so you can see you're closing the deck up leaving that ace on top of the deck like this. So once more time guys, you guys can, a lot of you guys can exit the video now, but for those of you who want to see it again, basically you're taking a card, in this case the Ace of Spades, and you're saying, look, you wanted to pick the Ace, you can go ahead and sign it. Um, you could have picked any card in this case, so let's say you wanted to pick, you could have picked the Five of Diamonds if you wanted to. You emphasize the Five of Diamonds, you push the Ace flush with the Five covering it up, and from the back, you're pulling this card out with your middle and your ring, and you're pushing it on top of the deck. So when you first start out, don't spread the cards. Just go ahead and close the deck back up, leaving their card on top of the deck. So the end, what I did was, it was very simple. Um, their card is on top, and basically, I just did a double lift, and I'll leave the link on the screen. Uh, but really, guys, you should already know how to do the double lift at this point if you're trying to attempt this card trick. So basically, you do the double lift, concealing their card, and whatever you want to do, you can give it to them, flip it over, and this is the trick. So I hope you guys like it, and as always...